going on guys welcome back to another video so today I'm gonna be doing like a, a breakdown of how much I spent on my truck um, I have had this truck since 2020 and yeah so you guys have seen where it's at now I'll show you guys this is the current state of which it's in starting off with the price of the truck so this was back in 2020. My uncle was actually gonna scrap this truck. He was gonna take it to the junkyard or just try to sell it online. And at the time I was looking for an OBS truck or any truck in general, which had to be single cab. It was the Quacha era 2020. And I wanted to have a truck so bad. So I hit him up and I was like, I was like, hey, I wanna buy the truck. How much you sell to me? So he, I ended up picking it up for 500 bucks. You know, you'd be lucky now to find this truck for like 500 bucks. I seen all the OBS right now, they're going for like 3,000 and up for like junkyard builds and stuff. So it's really crazy that I picked this up for 500 bucks. I'm really blessed at the time. I didn't have that much money. And yeah, so that's pretty much how much the truck cost me in general. There's nothing else, like no special plaques or anything like that. And the trucks, it's treating me pretty good. I've had it for about two years now, two years and a half. We're 2022 right now in June, so that's about two years and a half. I got it January 3rd, 2020. Never had any real issues with the truck. Only when I lowered it, my driveline was kind of fucked up, but that's, that's stuff that has to do with me doing stuff to the truck, you know, like lowering it, just basically like messing with the truck. The ride's pretty good. So I have Beltec in the front right here, Beltec shocks. I'll take in the back there's street performance shocks so these headlights right here the headlights in the grill I got them off of eBay they're about 180 bucks together um, this uh, grill emblem right here the billet was about 75 80 bucks I did get it in a couple videos ago so the fog lights were about 110 the valence was about 100 as well and then I did paint my hood right here so I did it was the OEM color like this but it was all sunburnt along the top right here. That was about, give or take, like 200 bucks. Did the labor ourselves. I painted this, the hood, and the tailgate. Going on to the side. So I have these Chevy rallies. They're really dirty right now. I paid 100 bucks for all four. It was a really good deal. I paid 400 bucks for the tires. They're just some off-brand. They're like Lion Sport. 235, 75, 15s. And then I got these mirrors right here, the 454. They were 100 bucks for the pair. They are the plastic ones. I didn't know there was the metal ones. Things that I did change was this front window right here. The other one, it was all um, stained and had a bunch of chemicals and stuff on it. It cost me about 180 bucks. But the week after I got it, I got this little crack. And after a year and a half, the crack just got worse. As you can see right there all along the edge. Last video was only this little piece right here. So it just grew with the heat and all that. For my tent, the front windshield was 180. This window, the back window and the other window were about 150 altogether. Um, this is 5% on the sides. I got 20 on the front and then I have a 20 on five in the back. This one did, I did replace the window a couple of months ago. That one was also 180 towards the back of the truck so these are the OEM taillights they're just some new ones off of eBay they're about 50 bucks so this is the tailgate that we did paint as well as the hood this bumper I ended up getting it well it did have the plastic pieces but I took them off because they were they were uh, faded and all like burnt up and stuff but this bumper right here I, I had the other one that was all black just a primer one it didn't have none of this um, plastics or anything so I got this one on offer up for a hundred bucks as for the drop that I do have, so I got three inch uh, drop springs in the front. I got this for about 200 bucks, Beltec. And then in the in the rear, I have the I have a flip kit as well as the three inch drop shackles right here, leaving me at a 10, 10 inch drop. Um, I forgot what brand my flip kit was. I did get it about two years ago. I don't even think they make that one anymore. I think the new ones are like six inch or five inch. When I did get the truck, I cut the exhaust off off the off the manifolds. So it was just open header, it was super loud. It's just, that's just what I wanted at the time. So I ended up putting back my Cadillac converter. I put a glass pack muffler and then I got the dual side tips right here. 
it sounds pretty good that cost me about $300 total to put everything back together the muffler and the tips for my rear drop I do so it is kind of ghetto the way I have this right here so I do have a monster notch I got the the two pieces for 150 bucks I got them off of offer up as well and this is just some cheap plastic just to cover the hole right there and then there's really nothing else done to the bed just a monster notch right there this bed cover I got it off of, I got it off of eBay it cost me 300 bucks it's a pretty nice bed cover it's vinyl that's basically all I have done to it on the outside cosmetically I do want to go lower in the front a couple inches any in the back maybe sit at like a 512 originally when I got the truck it had the gray interior like kind of like that brown grayish interior so I repainted the dash black I repainted my door panels these are just the basic stock ones they're missing pieces nothing special um, all these trim pieces I painted in black also but they're all faded out now I need to redo it or maybe even go with another color carpet black carpet 200 bucks these floor mats are some cheap ones my this mat right here is 30 bucks off of eBay this mirror was $70 it's a billet specialties one this shift column was about 50 bucks actually it was like 40 bucks this steering wheel with the adapter and everything was cost me 200 bucks I saw everything myself for my dash everything's the same same lights and everything moving on over here my stereo this is a pioneer this is a DEN S6220 BS so this cost me 160 bucks it's probably the best stereo that I've had so far I mean I haven't gotten it with anything too high quality but that's kind of the best that I've got so far my favorite thing about this truck is actually my seats so this is ostrich vinyl ostrich vinyl I'm not sure what this cloth is called in here but it's really nice it kind of goes with it it's kind of like a suede type or like a, I don't know how to explain it but it's really comfortable so I got this seat redone it was about 500 bucks when I got it done these lap belts that I got right here these are for a Mustang 70 bucks for the 70 bucks each so 70 70 and 70 I have three of them so moving on to the back so these two subs right here they cost me 100 bucks they're 10 inch kickers that was a really good deal I didn't get them at the store I got them off of offer up these two speakers right here I got them in Lodi at this um, Cali car audio it was about 100 bucks they're two six by nines right here and then I have one in the corner over there I ordered these that DS18 right there and then this DS18 they're a four by six I believe those are 40 bucks and then this cloth right here this is the same one this is the same one that I have right here so I had a little bit extra and I just laid it out back here it's not the nicest but it looks better than just the regular paint that it has that kind of sums up my interior so 200 on the steering wheel 40 bucks for the steering this uh, gear shifter about 70 bucks on the mirror the paint and all that that's not gonna count that it's just little spray cans and then my seat was 400 bucks 70 bucks for each lap belt 150 on the stereo and then 100 bucks for the two tens 100 bucks also for the two six by nines and then 40 bucks for that one and this one together so moving on to all my lights that i have so i do have full led everything uh, these right here, I got them off of eBay. They're called uh, Iron Wear, I believe, or Ox Beam, something like that. And they were like, they were like 20 bucks. They're cheap. They don't, they're not that special. These two down here, I got them off of RZ Custom Lights. So they they do sell two bulbs at a time. So they're 30 bucks for two bulbs. So this was 60 bucks right here, for both of these. And these are switchbacks, so they have the turn signal down here. I got the LED for like five bucks off of eBay, nothing special. They're not even that bright. And then I'm missing the bulb right here for each side. Now back here, this is all stock and everything. Nothing special. 
I have the uh, reverse lights, the LED ones. So right here, I have LED for both of these. I got them at Payboys for like $3. They're on special. So this is, these are my LED reverse lights right here. That's basically my whole truck that I have spent so far. Um, nothing too crazy. I do want to do a, a full paint job later on. I'm thinking about going with the same color. Um, I think I spent the most money probably probably on my whole interior. It's probably been the most expensive, you know, just switching out parts. I'm not counting everything that I've switched before. It's so like I had another stereo before. I had different seat belts, um, all the other floor mats and stuff, different gift, uh, gear shifters, different speakers and stuff. I'm kind of just counting what I have now. In the volume about right here and then I do have it on on 35 on my stereo it goes up to 60 so it's about like half volume there and then I'll just show you guys what it sounds like I don't know if the mic picks it up pretty good, but... So it's not the best setup in the world, but it's pretty loud for me to be honest. Here, I'll show you what it sounds like inside. That sounds pretty good. That's gonna sum it up for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. I will be putting the full total right here on the screen, probably in one of the corners. The full total of my build, including the price of the truck and everything. I hope you guys liked the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more.